All right, and welcome back. Actually, uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I haven't recorded in almost a month. I've just been really busy. So uh, I'll just ask you, please have patience with me as I regain my bearings, I guess. Anyway, here we are in the lower reaches beneath the old tunnels, having previously acquired a part of the rift device from a forgotten god here at the ancient temple. And uh, Lou is essentially able to do one of two things. Goal, a high priest of the cult, has offered in exchange to grant us an audience with the Unseen Eye himself. Or, Sassar, an ex-high priest, has agreed to tell us how he might steal a second part in order to assemble the rod and use it against the Unseen Eye in order to destroy it. Of course, uh, Lily's interested in the latter, mainly because she'd like to assemble the rod and keep it for herself. So, we'll likely be returning to Sassar. And also, Lily's been wondering... What if something were to happen to Keldorn? <laughs> Not necessarily by her own hand. But I think she's wondering if that might give her the freedom to look about his private estate in the government district. Not to mention he has all these precious heirlooms like the uh, fire camp full plate armor. I think she's guessing it might fetch a pretty price. Something has been brewing in her mind uh, down here in the lower reaches. Because Lily has no doubt if she returned to the watchers at the Temple of Helm and told them a story about how Keldorn fell valiantly <laughs> while uh, defending the party against the cult of the Unseen Eye. They have, they'd have no reason not to believe her. So I think she's just looking for that opportunity to uh, orchestrate it. I'm just letting you know what she's thinking so that... <laughs> If and when it does happen, you're not uh, entirely surprised. You might. Otherwise, uh, I think we're curious if the part of the Rift device might not even act like a key. <laughs> so, of course, this is going to be Kaldor's job. <laughs> Here it is. I stand ready. This uh, secret passageway. No. All right. You have a plan? In that case, uh, returning to Sassar to find out how we can acquire the second part of the device. And I think I brought this up, but in case I haven't, uh, of course, I Lily's curious what might be in the sarcophagus because keep a wary eye about. One never knows the form that danger can take in a place such as this. <laughs> this is not the tomb of. Uh, an ordinary person. So she does want to see what's in this sarcophagus, but uh, not until we're ready to leave, in case it stirs up trouble. All right, so return to Sassar. Is that you? Have you returned successful? And of course we have. All right, about to tell us how to acquire the second half of the rod. The unseen eyes in a great pit in the center of the cult compound. Saying we shouldn't enter it by the stairwell, because the beholder's minions would slay us. There's a niche where the beholder stores his treasures, including the rod. I guess there's a safe way to access it. Sounds like he has a spy among the cult. You must approach him and say the phrase, the eye is blind. He will then know who you are and be able to help you. You will find him by the pit of the faithless. Do not speak to Gaul. If he senses that you have half of the rod, the plan is doomed. Speak only to Tad. Assuming then that Tad is uh, a Cesar's contact in the guild. All right. Not sure the last time we uh, rested, but this is one of the only sanctuaries we have. 
I think we're going to take advantage of that. But yeah, how Lily would orchestrate the fall of Kaldorn. Not, not quite sure. She's guessing it probably wouldn't be too difficult. Especially when he's uh, so honor-bound. <laughs> she could probably give him the shaft from a broken weapon. Tell him that uh, it is in fact the Great Rift device. And that the uh, Unseen Eye would be unable to harm him. <laughs> Let him charge uh, blindly and alone against the uh, Unseen Eye. Could be as simple as that. Although, if it doesn't go perfectly, she might have to assist. And I guess I'm not sure how that works mechanically, game-wise, if you're even able to attack one of your own party members. I guess we're going to find out if uh, the opportunity presents itself. Alright, of course, here's that room with the wheel that we don't know what it does. But I don't think we're going to bother with that until uh, we're ready to leave, in case it stirs up trouble. Of course, Gold was out here. Alright. So, looking for Tad and uh, trying to avoid Gold. <laughs> Here at the compound. Cultists on a bridge. Kneel and repent. All right, here's a cultist. It's not apparent if he's speaking to us or somebody else. Do you revoke the weakness of the sighted? I do. Alright, he's talking to another cultist. Then you revoke the false power of sight and embrace the true vision of holy blindness? I revoke it. This sounds, uh... Maybe this is a, probably an initiate. Going through some uh, ritual. Then what must be done to set things aright? Take my foul sight, Master. Let the orbs and their poisonous sight be torn from my body. Let me be made pure. <laughs> Sounds like we're about to witness uh, the rites of initiation, which will probably involve him plucking his own eyes out. So shall it be done. Cast off your old beliefs and be saved. It looks like he's done it. Kneel and repent. <laughs> wow, that's gruesome. The unseen eye is always here. He sees that you are not worthy and the blood at my feet proves it. Take him away. Throw the body down into the pit of the faithless. <sighs> wow. So we did just indeed see uh, rites of initiation, but the uh, initiate was not worthy. My mistress of the Grey Waste is not deserving of her reputation. There are no hatreds too petty, Keldorn, as to compel forgiveness. And as I'm certain you're well aware, all pains are hidden. The mandate of your loyal order, talking about the uh, Order of the Radiant Heart, is deception and ruse. So misery is just another disguise for your gang of holy thugs' agenda, is my guess. Yes? Shan is a perverse travesty, Drow. Her cult is seething with evil and bitter yield. She's a coven for the morose and pathetic. <laughs> Add another slight to the Order and you'll not reckon her secrets in the world of the living. Do you understand me, witch? Not a word in my direction, ever. I don't think Lily is appreciating this at all. Stay your hostility, Paladin. I seek no conflict with you or your order. I guess these are drow words. 
I've witnessed your Sarg and Striaka firsthand. Not sure what those are. My humblest apologies to these. Presumably talking to uh, Lily. Alright. I thought it might have something to do with uh, the events <laughs> at hand, but no. <laughs> it's just a little bit of banter. Wondering then if this is the pit of the Faithless. But uh, we did indeed witness a ritual and uh, one of the initiates that wasn't worthy. I am yours to direct, my friend. Look at that. Alright, some kind of orb over the pit. And these walls do not look like dirt or stone. Almost looks like a membrane. I don't think we're gonna risk speaking with any cultists until uh, we can find Tad. Repent. Alright, so here is uh, Cesar's contact in the cult. So I guess speaking the uh, passphrase, the eye is blind. Alright, he recognizes it. Relieved to realize, I guess, that uh, Cesar is still alive. Asking him for help. You want to enter the Beholder's Lair? Well, you must go down to the Pit of the Faithless. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Below is a secret pathway to the small cave in the lair. Be wary of the creatures who feed upon the bodies of the faithless that are thrown down there. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I think Lily's concerned about this, how safe it might be. It should be safe, unless the unseen eye is currently within. He plans a great mass soon, so if you hurry, you should be safe. Doesn't look like we have uh, much of a choice then. Yeah, it's certainly not reassuring. There's another room. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, that's Gold's chambers. How can I help? I guess this is the back entrance to the Pit of the Faithless. I think Lily just wants to know because, uh... For some reason we do have to run out of here. We don't necessarily want to run by, uh... Or into Gaul. If he's gonna sense that we have one half of the rod. Man. Whoops. Any that would see. <laughs> oh, okay, it was successful and then unsuccessful. Goal. Alright. Definitely his chambers. Okay. It's taking this uh, back entrance. Duty calls, I see. 